importance here. Oh, way to back yourself. Go for it. Finish that. Did get a chance to show his top end speed. Wow. Yeah, swear to God, I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane. It's quite go get it like me. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright my friends, how are we? What is going on? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to a Football Player video. Today's video, we are just going to crack straight into it with my favourite player in the league. Leonard Fournier. Now, I'm aware of the fact <laughs> that, uh, well, it may have Fournier on the back certainly doesn't have 27 anymore. It certainly doesn't look like it's uh, the teal and black. Leonard Fournette got released, as well as it seems like most of the noteworthy players in the Jaguars team all got released over the last year. So we come into this year, my boy Leonard Fournette's gone, Jalen Ramsey went last year, they've, they've got rid of Nick Foles, not using him, I'm actually not sure. Um, but basically, guys, the one thing that I paid the most attention to as far as the Jags coming into this year was was the, the position of running back, of course. You know, Leonard Fournette's my favourite player. So, when I heard that he'd left the team, I had some decisions to make. I had some big decisions to make, and I thought, you know what, I'm either going to follow him as a player to his new team and back them, or I'm going to follow my new favourite player, well, my second favourite until he does something cooler than Leonard Fournette, which is Jonathan Taylor. Um, so I'm either going to follow him to the Colts, and get, I'm going to back the Colts, or, you know what, I'm going to do what any real sports fan would do. Anyone with, with a bit of sportsmanship, you know, a bit of loyalty. And that would be to see out the season with the Jags still, see how they go, get behind them as a team, get behind their new players, and, and continue to back the Jags. And, and to be honest, guys, the more I think about it, the more I know that I can follow individual players to different teams, I can follow them individually, I can look at their highlights, but as far as a team to back, an actual team, you know, it's got to be the Jags, it has to be the Jags. So I'm back in the Jags. Maybe Lynn Fournette will get traded back to them one day. I doubt it. I really do doubt it. In fact, I don't even know who the Jags running back is now. But with that being said, there's only one thing left to do, and that is... To have a look, and my boy Leonard Fournette playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I feel like he's had two games so far, either one or two. And we're going to look at his highlights, at his specific individual highlights. Now he he came out and uh, said something, I guess, quite controversial recently. He said he made the quote of uh, of basically saying, you know, now that he's now that he's at Tampa Bay with uh, Tom Brady as his quarterback, he's finally, finally going to have an actual quarterback. Now, what did he say? What did he say? <laughs> what did he say? Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers running back Leonard Fournette dropped an, ab dropped an absurd quote on Tuesday. Um, and he said, Tom Brady is the first quarterback he's actually had in his life. Uh, so that basically pours shit on Gardner Minshew. It pours shit on... What was that guy's name? What was that guy's name? Oh, Blake Bortles. And also Nick Foles. And also the quarterbacks that he had at LSU. Which I have no idea who they are. So basically, guys, Lennon Fournette's come out. Bold statement before the season. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. You know, it hypes him up. Hypes up the team. But then again, it really does turn the old faithful Jacksonville fans against him. A little bit less one side and not the other. But anyway, that's just my thoughts. So basically guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to YouTube right now. Okay, well that's interesting. He's made another comment. He has made another comment. <laughs> Leonard Fournette. 
Uh, Leonard Fournette said, I, he's quoted as saying, I'm hard on Tom, he's hard on me. Okay, well, we're definitely going to get into that. Okay, Leonard Fournette is back with 103 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Am I the only one seeing that? Against the Panthers. Okay. Leonard Fournette on Tom Brady. He's, si he's got six Super Bowls. I expect a lot of... I expect a lot out of his ass. Okay. Oh. Okay. Leonard Fournette on Buccaneers beating Panthers. What have we got? Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette. I'm going to go Leonard Fournette week one highlights. Or maybe all we're going to see is his week two highlights. What have we got here? Let me, let me have a look. Oh, look at this. Buccaneers running back Leonard Fournette challenged his offensive line Sunday, pleading pleading with them, asking for an inch. And apparently they loved it. And look, here's Leonard Fournette with hair. I literally thought that was another guy. Look, so I just want to check, I just want to check that he played in the first week. Yes, he did play in the first week, but it doesn't look like he did a lot. In fact, he had five attempts for five yards, with a longest run of six. One reception for 14 yards. Okay, nothing to speak of. So basically, guys, what was what we're seeing here is is the second week, three days ago, Fournette playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against another team that I really do fancy, which is. Uh, the Carolina Panthers, although they've lost Cam Newton to the Patriots, and I also believe they've lost Christian McCaffrey to an injury for four to six weeks, but we will get into that. Or will we? Probably not. Let's watch Leonard Fournette last week ball out. I've been looking forward to this. This is going to be the very first piece of action I've seen this season in the NFL, and I want to say thank you for joining me. Big on the linebackers, finds that first down, puts his nose over the first down marker. Here's Fournette. If you had told me six months ago that I'd be watching Leonard Fournette take handoffs from Tom Brady, how? You now, there was just no clear path for that to ever happen. But lo and behold, here we are. Shake and bake on the linebackers, finds that first down, puts his nose over the What are we, second quarter, start of the second quarter, 14 nil to Tampa Bay. Tom Brady, 9 of 12, one touchdown, zero interceptions. All right. Shake and bake on the linebackers, finds that first down, puts his nose over the first down marker. Nice big toss. Fuck yeah. So one thing I always used to say is that Leonard Fournette, bro, you know, when he tries to go up the middle and there's just no holes there in the offensive line, I have no idea what the Tampa Bay offensive line's like. Hopefully they're decent. Um... But basically, you know, he'd just run out of room, but yet he, he, he'd still continue trying to get through that hole. It's like, use a bit of flair, use your agility, use your, use your God-given talents to, to spy a gap when something closes and go for it. So let's see what happens. Strong game on first down, pick up about five. Yes, just like that. Going to set up a third down and short. It's on purpose. First and ten. Fuck yeah, the counter. Is that a counter? Well, kind of. I like the change of direction. I like the, I like the, uh, I'm seeing a, a bit more, I'm seeing more lateral movement. Slip and tackles. Working his way with the forward progress for four yards. Nice way to stay on your feet. Shit all day long, that's what Tom Brady said. And here comes Big Leonard Fournette. Big Leonard. Line. Hasn't had a chance to show a lot of pace yet. Where is he? Is that him there? With time. Yes, it is. Whoa, that was a decent move. It was a bit of an out route, then an in, then an up. With time, he finds oh, truck touchdown! Oh my god, I was going to say, receiving touchdown before Nick. Let's go! And here 
Davis, 4-9, trying to plunge in, and he's in for his first Tampa Bay Buccaneer touchdown. Fuck yeah. This is a moment in history. He's in for his first Tampa Bay Buccaneer touchdown. Holy shit. Now, what I do want to see is how much room did that offensive line give him? Well. I suppose there's this fella and this fella that are closing in to try and stop him, but he's, he's, he's three yards out. He's the fastest top speed athlete in the NFL, and he's three yards out. And here is Fournette, trying to plunge in, and he's in for He enjoys the contact. He's going to bring it. You're not stopping him from there. This is one. Hey, we can own this fourth quarter. Let's go get this thing done as an offense. Up the middle this time. Go, son! Yes. Yes, boy. I like that. Another, hand off, right back. Another one right up the middle. Oh, I love that shit, bro. That's Ball down to the that's uh, that's Adrian Peterson style. One yard line into Trey Boston on the tackle. Not slowing down one bit. Again. OJ Howard setting the edge. I like that. A lot of work to get four yards, but he got there. The spot will be important here. And he oh, way to back yourself! Go for it! Finish that! Did get a chance to show his top end speed. Oh, mate, that's beautiful. He could have got three touchdowns. Could have easily had three touchdowns. Okay, I'm happy. I'm content. Leonard Fournette is back with his first 100-yard rushing game of the season. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm not going to stay here for too much longer because we have plenty of content to come. I really hope you enjoyed this. I don't know how well it's come across. I feel like my voice sounds like shit. I kind of feel like shit too, but what I will say is that seeing Fournette... Seeing Fournette... Fuck, he did all sorts of shit there. All sorts. Out to the side. A little bit of counter work, straight up the guts. I mean, it's all there. It, you know, a lot of it, a lot of it depends on the other people in the team, what they're doing. You know, everyone's got to be doing their individual jobs for things to work out. But I tell you what, I didn't even. I mean, did you recognise Tom Brady? I didn't. <laughs> I thought he was just a random. But he's not. He's won six Super Bowls. And let's hope he can win another one. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you back here shortly when we check out our second running back of the day, Saquon Barkley. See you then. Peace out.